when the enemy tell you that you broke, busted, and discuss it, why are you crying and whining, Cletus? What you doing? No, no, hold on. Let me let me deal with this a little bit. I got I got it. Hold on, just 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 a minute. This personal development study. When you look at your everything digital now, when you look at your checking account, mm -hmm, then you got your other app where you get your obligations, financial obligations that you agreed to meet where you get the people's stuff. And those financial obligations, $1,000, you look in your check register, you get 300. Now, you honor your hover with first fruits. You got a promise. You obey him in returning your tithes. You got a promise. You obey the law that governs free will offer. A law governs free will. Well, no, he, he said, yeah, give willingly. Just hold on, Cletus. That you, the main one, need to not turn, just sit there and listen. There's a law that governs free will. You doing it. And you looking at that, what you going to say? Are you going to do the same thing Sheol did and said? When the storm came? and those professional sailors knew that this storm would destroy them all, are you gonna stand up and say, I believe what was told to me. I believe what's written, that if I honor him with the first fruits of all my increase, he'll cause overflow to come in my life. Are you gonna say it is written because I return was holy, the tent of all my increase. The Lord himself said he'll rebuke the devourer. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. That's when you say it. Or are you saying, oh, this don't work. I've been doing this for three years and it still don't. It's not working because you never did nothing in faith of righteousness. If we're not given in righteousness and if we're not given believing, none of this works. You can be you can pay $900,000 billion in tithe and it's not done in righteousness and believing nothing is activated, never was accepted. Y'all to touch somebody and tell them, say, you need to repent and change the way you think. That's what we was on last time we met. The Holy Spirit challenged us and said, change what you are doing. He never, ever failed. There is no failure in Elohim. There is nothing, absolutely nothing too difficult for him. Join us for personal development scripture studies on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern on YouTube. Submit your questions, receive answers, and watch the replay at www.eofkc.org.